it's Madison and welcome to or welcome back to my channel where today we're back on the 1.19 Let's Play server for another episode. Now, um, it's been quite a while since I've recorded an episode for the server um, and I'm sorry for that. There's been a lot going on and uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm back now and um, have big plans as usual. So let's get into those. Um, I have done a little bit of off-camera work over the past couple of days, so I don't think I really did anything down here. I don't think. No, I think everything looks the same down here. Oh, let me put my armor back on before we, like, die. Um, but if you come up here, you will notice there is something happening up here on this hill. So if we go behind our little starter house, we have a bunch of chests here, and we have an outline. Yes, let's go into the free cam for this. Look at this. This massive thing right here is a castle. I think I worked on this on stream the other day, actually. I saw a picture on Google, and I'll try to put a picture of it on the screen, um, of this like fairy balloon castle or whatever it was. And I was like, ooh, I like that. It's not like a Minecraft picture. So I had to come up with the dimensions and everything myself for this build, which, uh, let me tell you, was difficult because your girl is dumb. Um, but I did it, so yay. Uh, thank you to Hero and Holden for helping me out with the shape. Uh, we spent like two hours on it because we counted wrong multiple times. Counting is hard, okay? But yeah, this is, uh, this is the layout. So it's gonna be a round castle. I know, that's... That's a little crazy, but um, th that's that's what we're going for. Um, and then we'll terraform this mountainy side behind it, and yeah, I think it's gonna look real nice. Um, I have most of it built out in a single player world. Hopefully, we can recreate it in survival. I have been gathering supplies, like I said. So in here we have dark oak wood, spruce wood. It's probably not enough. Um, this is a chest of random junk. We have calcite, diorite, and amethyst to stick with our theme. Um, in here we have cobblestone, andesite, and regular stone. And then we have crimson planks because just like the village is crimson wood and amethyst, the towers of our castle are also going to be crimson wood and amethyst. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to try to time lapse this. Um, it probably won't be all of it, but it'll at least be the base because what I'm envisioning um, and what I've kind of like mapped out is like the bottom half will be uh, pretty much all stone and then the it'll be rimmed with dark oak and then above that will be calcite and, um, and then you, you know the towers. So let's take a little snooze and then we're gonna get in to the time lapse.
So, it has been a couple of hours, and um, there's been a lot of gathering in between, but we have finally finished the outside anyway. Well, for the most part. Not like everything, but like the towers, the outside structure is done. We have to work on the floors and details and all that, but let's take a look at what we got. Ready? Look at it. It's so tall. So if we go into our free cam mode, we can see this thing is pretty big and like it's not even like the whole thing because obviously this this top part where the towers like where this little awkward bit is right here there's gonna be a floor and then there's gonna be something here in the center up top and then um, the towers if you guys have suggestions for rooms be sure to leave those in the comments um, also leave names for our iron golems in the comments because off-camera they freaking helped me save this village. They were, you know, doing great things. So I have some name tags and we can name our Iron Golem Defenders. Um, we also need a name for this whole village that we are creating. So if anybody has any suggestions for that, um, please do let me know. On top of these, there'll be little flags and stuff. So I will do that once we get into the detailing bit and we'll add windows and then I'll go back and add, um, texture to the the whatever this is once we have floors to stand on and make it easier i don't know if y'all saw the 1.20 update for minecraft that they're doing um there's gonna be freaking cherry blossom trees which means pink leaves and i guess pink wood and how great would that be i would replace the crimson wood with that because it'd be super cute so yeah that is what we got going on and if we go on the inside here we have absolutely nothing a bunch of scaffolding and this ugly entrance way we're gonna have to figure out what to do with that I have absolutely no idea um so now I have to get to making a floor of this place so that um it doesn't look like that so I'm gonna do some you know movie magic um, and by that I mean I'm gonna cut and save you guys from the excruciating pain of watching me place flooring so BRB the movie magic we have now finished the floors look at that well now look at that Ta-da! we have a ceiling which I think we're gonna put like a chandelier or something here um, and then I did like a little design on the floor we need some more light in here so I may add in some other little bits to light up the floor um, but I did this like little pattern on in the middle and my idea is that we'll have like a throne here and on either side we'll have like a split double staircase that leads up back here and then leads up to the top floor I think but if we go up here we'll get to the top oh the top where I have placed trapdoors around the edge to like keep this marble bit away and then we have this, and then we have to build the structure here in the middle, which I don't know exactly how I'm building that yet. I haven't actually planned that out. So, but this is what we got so far. So I think it's looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Like, this thing is pretty massive. I love it, though. Look how nice it looks. And once we get that middle piece, it'll come together, and then we can add just, like, details. We may have like a little moat around. Maybe we'll have like a, a moat and then have like a, a bridge across and then have it lead here and then that way it'll lead into the center of town. Oh no. Well that's that kind of sucks. This doorway is not center with the tree. Oh well. Okay, so I may have got a little carried away. I did some of this on stream. So um, follow me on twitch.tv slash Madison Elizabeth Gaming for that. But I did a little bit off camera too, just while I was in call with some friends. And uh, uh, well, yeah, I got a little carried away. So let's take a little look-see at what I've done. So my inventory is a straight up mess, but um, who gave me a diamond? Oh, May gave me a diamond. Um, yeah, so if you notice, our little starter base has, uh, moved. It's moved, and, uh, it's moved over here. I basically just did the exact same thing, floor, everything. Kept it looking the same in here for, you know, 
nostalgia purposes, but now it's just moved over there. Kind of out of the way, but you can still tell it's ours by the sheep head and stuff like that. Um, oh, we got some new llamas because a wandering trader died and left his llamas. Um, I think that's all really that's happened out here. Um, besides this house being gone. And, oh, May left this little bush thing, which looks really cute. And she stole some moss block. Um, which is cool. Oh, there's also a raid. So now we have another flag. Goody. Um, but, I have not done the tower. Because, that's gonna take a lot. And, I think I may do it another episode. Um... Just because I would like to get this one out and because I, I'm, I, I just don't want to build right now. And that's, that's that. So, um, I put a little bit of flower, like flowering azalea leaves and oak leaves on the front. Actually, those may be just azalea leaves out front. So when you go in here now, you see that it's uh, slightly decorated and not as open. So, I had designed this in my single player world, and it's not exactly like that because <laughs> your girl messed up the dimensions. Um, but uh, Holden helped me do this, make a like an entrance hallway, and it's gonna be very pretty. Uh, we need some like some like little flower pots and stuff in here just to decorate it. Um, and then we'll have two rooms off to the side, so I basically just wall this off into sections. From the tower to tower, it's like sectioned off, so it just leaves a big square part instead instead of it being a circle part. So eventually we're going to change this floor because in my single player world, I did use like a terracotta. Um, so I'll do that eventually once we get some terracotta. And then off to the side, we'll just have like a little study area and just whatever else. And then when we go in here, we have the big room, which I've done a little bit, not like really decorating. I'll save that for another episode. Um, but just like a little bit of work to get, like make the walls not so flat, you know? Um, so yeah, this is the big center room. Right here, we're gonna have a throne. I've just placed this little chair thing here. Um, and then we have two big staircases leading up to the top, which will lead us... When did that get there? Holden keeps leaving creeper heads on stakes everywhere. It scares me. Um, but that leads up to the, the roof area. The upper deck, I guess. Um, where that other tower will go. But then, on either side of this main room, we have these long rooms. Which I believe is going to be for like storage, like a smelting area, just whatever we can find a use for. Um, but they also lead to the towers. And yeah, it's uh, it looks like the azalea flowers are taking over and that's okay. That's how I like it. It looks very, very beautiful. I like it. I feel like I'm living in a greenhouse and that's how I want it. Then we have little shelves everywhere to place stuff on. We have this cool little rug and seating area so we can come over here and sit and then we're gonna decorate the end tables over here we just have a shelf and we can put some like doodads and heads on it and more shelves and more shelves and yeah and then back here is another little room um which i don't know what we're gonna do back here i believe it was was it devin or expedition someone uh, suggested a garden room, which would be kind of fun. But then we come up here and go around this, say hello to the creeper head, and then we're up at the main deck part. So this is it. This is what I have done. Oh, I also fixed the roof a bit on this on stream so it doesn't look as bad. It's still not the best, but it doesn't look as bad. So. Yeah, this is, this is what we're working with. We still have to decorate a lot on the outside, um, but I think it's coming together quite nicely. So yeah. Sorry I did a little bit more off camera than I usually do, but I uh, got a little carried away. Now that it's dark and spooky outside, let's continue on our way past the iron golems. What? One, two, three, 
four, five. There's five of them now? We only had three before. Wow. Okay. Well, we're gonna need names. Uh, I know Jesse suggested one name, so we'll name. Oh my God! There's six of them. I don't have enough names for this. Also, running low on coal. I have literally used all our resources to smelt stone. Okay, so since we have um, some time while that stuff is smelting, we are going to make a name tag with the name that Jesse suggested. And then we're gonna go over here and name one of the iron golems. We'll name this one right here, Devin. Devin is uh, on the server actually, and um, I love Devin. So Devin is now my protector. So definitely leave some more name suggestions because apparently we have five others that need names. We have llamas and horses. Um, we have, we did have a cat, but he ran away. And I think that's all we have to name. So I'm gonna show you something really cool. With this texture pack, it basically makes connecting blocks, well, you, you know, you can see them connecting, but with the bricks, and a colored terracotta. It changes the color of the bricks. Isn't that cool? So then I can place all this around and it gives it a brick texture. It only goes off, off a certain amount, so I'd have to put another brick here to get that one to work. But I think it's so cool. It would only work for a floor because the sides kind of get a little wonky, but I, I love it. It's so fun. And voila. And then it has this nice little brick texture and it is so cute. We just have to see how far it will go. Ta-da! So that's what it looks like. You'll have like a little brick floor in there and it's gonna be um, white and pink spotted. I don't know if I wanna do it for the main entrance now. I may just leave this as is, maybe have a carpet or something, but this and that I wanna do white and pink spotted. I think it looks very cute in the single player world. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought, and some name suggestions for all our creatures around us. And also, subscribe, join the Corgi Squad, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!